Good day to all. Welcome to Sri Krishna Stories. Let's hear what today's story is about. Dear, will you come with me if I die? Ask the king a simple story to explain. Let's learn more. Once upon a time in a certain town, there was a wealthy king Raghuvira. He had four wives. He loved his fourth wife very much. He spent all his wealth on her. He gave her only the best from what he had himself. He also loved his third wife. He will make her happy by showing her his other kingdoms. But he feared that some day she would go off with someone else. He also loved his second wife. She is always kind to him. Whenever he gets tired or he faces any problem she supports him and gives advice The king's first wife was very important She will give a great share in looking after those royal properties and ruling the kingdom She is responsible for everything However the king was not so attached to his first wife only occasionally he would notice her one day when king raguvira was on his death bed at the end of his life thinking about his royal life he said i have four wives but when i die i will be all alone he asked to his fourth wife i loved you so much i gave you all the best that i had and now i am going to die Will you follow me? Impossible, she said and she walked away. The king felt as if a knife was tearing his chest. He told his third wife, "I have loved you with all my life. Today I am going to die. Will you accompany me?" "No, life is sweet. If you die, I will remarry," she said and moved on. His heart skipped a beat. He said to his second wife, "I have sought much advice from you, and you have done me many favors. Dear, if I die, will you come with me? I'm sorry, I can't help you now. I can only send you a bouquet of flowers." She said and left. The answer fell like a thunderbolt on the king's chest. He staggered. Then a voice was heard. I will come with you wherever you go. The king looked up. It was his first wife. She appeared too thin. Then the king regretted saying, I should have paid more attention to you when I had the chance. Actually, we all have these four wives in our life. The fourth wife is our body. Whatever good is done to it, it will leave us. third wife is wealth status and our possessions after our death it passes into the hand of others second wife is our family and friends they can only come with us with our corpse to the cremation ground first wife is soul in the struggle of life in our rush to seek wealth status power We all trap the soul in the material world accepting himself as a greatest fool the king advised his people not to be fools like him in his remaining short time he was fully engaged in krishna devotion however in a large part of his life he was a great fool in fact if we think about it most of us are not interested in spiritual life and are engrossed in gathering and enjoying worldly possessions but we cannot take all of them or any of them with us at death realizing this fact one can live intelligently without being a fool in any stage of life by actively practicing krishna devotion after passing through many births one who is intelligent surrenders to krishna the cause of all causes hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 rama hare rama 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 hare hare 
सर्व श्रीकृष्णार्प